Hello everyone, welcome to Driving Approach. My name is Alexei and you are watching Approaching Driving. Approaching Driving is a show where I film videos about anything and everything about cars. Today we're going a little bit off cars, but it's still, I would say, directly related, especially with this, because this is a four-stroke engine. So I've decided to buy one two-stroke engine and install it on a bike, on a bicycle, so make like a motorcycle out of a bicycle pretty much, and another one that's a four-stroke engine and also install it on a bike. And the four-stroke engine has arrived and Today I'm gonna do the unpacking of it. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Was that too cheesy? No, but it's just... <laughs> That's so funny. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Was that... Put this on a table. I just want to show this right away. This, this is where there was a little bit of damage. Uh, it's visible. Something leaked, but I guess maybe that was just water. But whatever. It does look. That I don't know what that is. That could be oil from it. Probably. Oh, and there's a gasket and some bolts for. I don't even know for what yet. You can see spark plug wire. This is probably to wire anything else to be powered from the same source that the spark plug is powered, which is probably an alternator that's somewhere there. This is how it's going to be started. Cool. This is where the uh, transmission is. I, if the guy that built this in the video put it on a bike, he opened this up and lubricated it. I don't know if we should do that or not. I'll, we'll see. Well, I'm assuming this is the future. All my hands are in oil now. Okay, let's continue. There's another box with the rest of the stuff. So we got the engine here. I'll put it back into the... This closes somehow like this, but it's not working for now. Three hours later. I'll, I'll, <laughs> it's okay, we'll do it later. All my hands are in oil, so I don't know if I should continue or clean them first. I guess I will wash them and be, be right back. Okay, so we're continuing to unpack the four stroke engine kit that I've received. We got the engine out. We've seen how oily it is. So we're gonna move to the other box. There are two big boxes where the rest of the stuff is like a throttle body, the fuel tank and other cool stuff. So we'll open that up. see how it looks like. First we got a cover for the chain that might need to be cut somewhere. I have no clue yet how, that, how I'm going to do that. 
and you have a muffler. I guess that's stupid, but we'll let it slide. I'll put the muffler back into the bag. And we'll continue. Uh -huh. The two handles, one would be with the throttle body. Uh, The throttle body cable um, and I'm assuming some tubing for um, gasoline and well I guess it's too loud I shouldn't have been flickering around with the loud bag and describing what's inside of the bag take it out yeah we'll continue we'll do the same well you know what yeah we'll go through this bag exactly Exactly. We'll do the pauses. We'll take it out and talk. The, the audio is not best quality and I don't need to ruin it even more while doing something like this while I'm talking. <laughs> something like this while I'm talking. Okay, so we got the... Yeah, this is the throttle body cable. That's going to be attached to handles, one of them, to the one that has the gray part. I don't want to open them now, but you can see what it is. Um, there's like a rubber washer or a plastic, plastic washer probably. A oh my um, a switch to op open and close the path of uh, gasoline with a uh, orifice tube. Looks this exactly the same as on a HVAC system, in the air conditioning system. I guess I'll put it back here into the bag. We'll put it there, and I'm assuming. Well, this is obviously electrical wires for something and I don't know what exactly this is for, but I guess we'll find out later. I think this is the tube for gasoline. Moving on. OMG, there is a gasoline filter. Wow, eh? Pretty cool. Then there's a... Um, I want to say sprocket, but... Uh, an attachment to the wheel for the big toothed uh, gear. There's a tensioner for the... There is a tensioner for the chain. Mounting brackets for the engine. The chain. Chain for the connection between the... Hmm, that would be the output shaft of the transmission, that gray one and uh, this, the big sprocket that's to this one. This is the chain that's gonna go on this and connect to the output shaft of the transmission. Moving along in unpacking the four-stroke engine, here we have Another gear that's going to be put on 
I'm assuming it would be. I would need to look through some stuff, but <laughs> no, it's probably gonna go on the front wheel, but I know this one for sure goes on the back, but this might be on the other side. Oh, there is a manual, install parts. Install sprocket, the same installation as two strokes, engine gasoline, engine. So, we'll move to that later. So, moving on, we have probably a pedal, maybe another one. Mm -hmm. An extension. No, it will be completely new pedals because it need will, it would need to be extended because of the size of the engine. So this would be the shaft that's going to be connected to the new pedals. Moving on, there are more uh, bolts, some other screws and stuff and adjustments. Uh, there's a bearing. Uh, and uh, another bearing and some more screws and adjustments and we'll figure out where the, all that goes when we'll be assembling it. <laughs> so let's put this stuff back. But there's one more box left to unpack. We went through almost everything. And let's go through that box. Okay, so we have one more box left and let's see what's inside of it. Fuel tank. Yeah, we didn't see it yet. Maybe it was supposed to be there. Was there supposed to be something inside? I don't think so, but I'll find that and let you know. <clears throat> so that's it. This was the unpacking of the four stroke engine that's going on a bike that I don't have yet, but we'll be getting soon. And um, this was the unpacking of the whole kit. Um, you saw how we have all the components that we need for it, but there are some things that we still we would still need to get, like gasoline, oil, um, some zip ties, and maybe double-sided, like proper tape, so that some it will be easy to place some parts on on the bike. And uh, yeah, we'll be going through all of that in the future videos. Um, also, we'll start assembling the bike and uh, we'll see where all of this goes. And I'm really excited to be doing this build. So um, write down in the comments what's the most interesting thing that you find about um, as this small engine like this. Let me just get it out. Or just write any any of your thoughts or comments that you have on placing something like this on the bike and seeing how that works thank you very much for watching this video 
stay tuned for the next ones. My name is Alexi, and have a good day. Bye. Like and subscribe this video if you are interested in four-stroke and two-stroke engines and how they can be installed and used on bikes. So stay tuned for new videos and let's burn some gasoline.